Hi friends, today we are going to speak about how to reduce vibrations in the handlebar. Hi friends, how are you? In the last video we had discussed about the vibrations in Royal Enfield, what actually causes the vibrations. I think we should not only be speaking about the problems but also be speaking about the solutions for that. So in this video I will be telling you how to reduce the vibrations that come across on your handlebar. Royal Enfields are good to ride. They are entirely fun and especially the Continental GT. But one of the main issues that uh, everyone experiences are the vibrations. When you find some solution for the vibrations and I like this uh, vehicle like hell. Okay, this video is basically a DIY, do it yourself kind of a video. So I did this, I tried this before and it reduces your handlebar vibrations like anything. But once I did it and I gave it to a few uh, riders who actually use Royal Enfields, they were telling me, hell, what is this man? This is now like a normal bike. Where, where are those vibrations? That make us feel that this is a bullet. Where are those vibrations? So, yeah, it completely depends upon you, man. But um, if you uh, ride a few bullets like Ro uh, Royal Enfield, Continental, GT and a few, the vibrations are like hell. You will sometimes get these sometimes get very awkward and you may feel that okay might be there was a solution I could get rid of it. Um, if you are a short rider a commuter and all and if you are happy with the bike don't do it yeah depends upon your preference but this video is uniquely for the ones who want a solution to this vibration so let's move on to the video I have been trying different solutions or different ways to reduce the vibrations on the handlebars in order for the mirrors, I have put in washers here that try to reduce the vibrations that come across on these mirrors as well as reduces stress on the handlebars to a certain degree. Yeah, it works. I have put in this bar and weights so that it reduces the stress over the handlebars. There are different solutions being implemented to reduce uh, vibrations. But if you ask me, they don't reduce the vibrations completely. If you try to understand from where these vibrations come in, you would be able to easily reduce them. So what I have observed from all the ways that I have implemented, this is the section that you have to basically dampen from where you have to reduce the vibrations. So this DIY that I am going to show you basically works on this part of the handlebar. already washed these uh, tubes this is basically a cycle tube that I am using it and as you see in the Himalayan handlebar there is a hole here you can also make such holes uh, manually or you can find a different way of doing it I am trying to tie this tube over this section of my handlebar so I am trying to uh, tighten a thread here and let me know what do you feel about your vibrations don't be annoyed by the uh, tube that you are using 
or the rubber element that you are using you can always use a leather coating over it or a grip over it and try to uh, make it look a bit more beautiful this is just a diy that you can do yourself at home guys as i always say do subscribe to the video do like the video share if you you feel that others would uh, be benefited out of it i would be more than happy if you can do that thanks bye for now